And these are old helmets from World War One. But a new generation of soldiers are keeping their war memories bottled up inside them. Post-traumatic stress disorder. We see some of these younger vets that come in that have problems. The one that I spoke with yesterday, he was kicked out the rescue mission. They wouldn't take him into Salvation Army because he was having confrontations with people. Soldiers have been deployed five, six, ten times, continually to be exposed and exposed to trauma and not having an ability to really heal and rest. That creates a tremendous amount of a toll on the soldier's brain. Those soldiers are very high risk for PTSD. There's always been a mental cost to war, but it's worse today. Of the estimated 2.6 million service members involved in Afghanistan and Iraq, it's believed that a quarter of them suffer some degree of PTSD, and it's leading to better treatments. Treatments of the past were called cognitive behavioral type of treatments, and they're scary for the individual because then the individual feels that they have to re-experience and they don't want to go there. The new treatments are focused on uh, how to uh, help the person in the here and now. Dialectic behavioral therapy, yoga, acupuncture, EMDR, they're short, 12, 10 sessions, helping that person learn how to become relaxed and calm and disconnect those ideas, negative thoughts, sensations from the memory. Findings show those who get counseling soon after a traumatic event may be better off later. And we can even start to do some therapies that may prevent the delaying of the memory that is very, very traumatic memory that can cause PTSD. Commander Boyd believes these suffering soldiers deserve some peace. Protected the very air we breathe and they made sacrifices doing unprecedented tours in Afghanistan, Iraq, and these kids need help. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.